everybody, Matt Kluskowski here from the NAPP, and I want to thank the folks over at On One once again for letting me be part of Perfect Inspiration. So uh, this week we're going to start off here with a, a file open up inside a camera raw, and I'm just going to run through the process of what I would normally do to this. Uh, so first off here, not not too much that I would I would change in camera raw. Maybe overall exposure just to brighten it up a little bit here. Okay, and then maybe come up to temperature and just add a little bit warmth to it. But th there's really not much more than I would do um, as far as raw settings go to this. I think I think the exposure is okay. I think everything is okay. Really, what I want to do is just finish up the photo with some effects. So I'm going to click on Open Image. It's going to open it up inside of Photoshop, and uh, and at this point we can go in here and we could do any any. You know, retouching things that we needed to do. I might press the letter J, grab my spot healing brush, and uh, I'm not going to try to get rid of all the little nail holes in the bench ball. I'll try to get rid of some little dark stuff that's in the background. There's another little one down here. A couple of things. Anything that could be misconstrued as a spot. That's really what I always try to get rid of at this point. Okay. All right. So at that point, we've done we've we've done any raw settings to the photo, if there's any retouching to do, if we have to, you know, uh, remove a telephone wire or anything like that, we would do that at this point. But with this portrait, there's really not much more to do other than I'm just going to open it up inside of perfect effects. Because this is really, to me, this is the bulk of what I would do to this photo, is to kind of finish it off with some effects here. So we're going to open up in perfect effects. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go under effects. I'm going to go under basic brushes. And I'm going to go down to brush detail, okay? Because what I want to do here is I want to add in some detail onto his eyes. So we're going to just zoom in on his eyes here. I'll use the left bracket key to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to paint right over the eyes. And that side. And you see it's just adding a little bit of sharpness to the eyes. Now I'm going to click Add. I'm going to go right back over onto the brushes and I'm going to brush in. Just If you notice the eyes are just a little bit dark, so I'm just going to come down here and uh, I'm going to go to brush in. Let's go brush in some, let's go brush lighter. All right. I just, I'm not going to do it really bright. I don't want them to glow, but I want to just brush in a little bit of brightness onto the eyes there. And if you look over here, right under that little layer area, you're going to see an amount setting. And this lets us control. Do we want them like, you know, alien bright or do we want to just remove it all together? So I'm just going to kind of split the difference right around 40 to 50% here. Okay. After that, let's go ahead and click add one more time. And uh, another thing that I use all the time, especially on portraits, we're going to go down here and I'm going to go under the actual portrait enhance section. And one of my favorite ones, and let's back out a little bit because this one affects the entire photo. One of my favorite ones is going to be radiant people. So just click on the radiant people. Again, that's under the portrait enhance section. And let me just turn that one on and off and you can see what it did. That's before, that's after. Adds a little bit of contrast adds kind of almost a glow to the skin, all right? And it's just, I don't know what it does, but it just kind of like finishes off the portrait really nice. And then finally here, I would click add one last time. And one of my favorites, and I even have it stored under my favorites, is called the Big Softy Gradient Vignette. All right, and all that does is just add a little bit of a vignette right around the edges there. And of course, you can always reduce the opacity if it kind of looks a little bit too strong. But let's take a look here. I'll hold down the little preview checkbox. You can see that's before and that's after. All right, and you could. One last little thing that I might do to this. I know I keep adding, like I say, well, I'm going to do one more thing to it. But one last little thing I might do to this is uh, I might go under the color correction section. And since I like my portraits very warm, I might go to warmer. And it's obviously going to come in way too strong, but then just reduce the opacity quite a bit. Take it down to about 20, 30 percent. And that just warms up the whole thing. But it's just a nice little finishing effect there. If we hit the apply checkbox at the bottom, it's going to uh, it's going to push everything together. And what it'll end up is is a layer inside of Photoshop. So it'll all show up in the layers palette. And you can see that's what we started with. 
and that's what we finished up with. If we ever wanted to even add a layer mask to it at this point, we could add a layer mask to it and maybe hit our uh, foreground color to black here. Maybe I don't like the, uh, the, the yellowish golden color it's added onto the skin so much, so I could always remove it from there if I wanted to, but not really. I actually kind of like it a little bit more, but if there was an effect that you wanted to paint out of the photo, that would be the place that you can do it if you kind of forgot to do it uh, inside of the plugin itself. All right, so once again, thank you so much to everyone over on one for having me here at Perfect Inspiration. And, uh, and I hope that gives you a little peek inside to how I use the effects. They're more of a finishing touch for me. I'll do all my camera raw stuff. I still use camera raw. I still use Lightroom. I would do all those settings. Then when it comes to finishing things off and adding special effects, that's where we're gonna jump into Perfect Effects. All right, folks, my name is Mac Laskowski. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon.